are just too many blockages to handle all at once. So it's best handled in the incremental way we are doing it. Trust the process. Know that what's happening to you is just right. Stop complaining. Or rather, stop looking at things from that angle that sees them as something to complain about rather than be thankful for. Another way to say it, move from mind into heart. Many of you may still think I'm crazy, but I'm dead serious when I tell you I'm grateful for the difficulties in my life. I offer thanks for them, including the painful stuff. I know it seems backwards, but that's only if you're stuck on the surface of things. A deeper look in shows the blessing that's manifesting that way for the moment, that only. It's a serious blessing, and that's why it is having that effect. Just trust that if you don't fully see this now, you will later. That's guaranteed. Nothing is held back from you, from me, from anyone. You are the God, the Goddess within. That's the power of the light manifesting through you and through your life. We've just got to shed and get rid of the programming. Or look away. Time to wake up to just who we are. And it's not just these little bodies and minds walking around down here in 3D land on two feet. That's not us. So what I started to say is that it's high time we recognized the legitimate claim to fantastic mental ability and facility that is held by the controllers. They've simply got that on us in this two or three stranded state and that's a fact. Just accept it for the moment and go with me here. Let go of resistance for now. You can pick it up again later. What it's important to realize is that the heart is who and what we are, not the head. And we're not exactly the heart, but the heart more is, is righter than head. Now, yeah, that's what I said here. Now, we're not exactly the heart either, so don't get caught up in the words. But it is through the heart that we are the fullness of light and the victors over any such nonsense as mind games. That's what they play with us, a bit like our scientists in their lab coats and the little rats in the maze, okay? Their trick is to keep us in mind land where they know they've got the advantage and a serious one. They can dazzle any time with their technology. Do you see what they're doing there behind the scenes? They're minimizing us to ourselves. They want us to think we're nothing next to them. Well, don't fall for that. Don't get the taste, salivate for their knowledge. They dangle it out in front of you like that. Oh boy, that is weird. Okay, they dangle it out in front of you like that. They'll just play with you like some toy. If you don't know the extreme advantage they hold with their full awareness, full-stranded DNA, which includes the full recollection of all of their lives, all they learned before, you're vulnerable. In our current state, stripped down from the 12 strands to the double helix, we're their play toy. That's if we choose to be. Did you hear that? If we choose to be. We don't have to play in their games. They're doing all this dance, making all this noise, creating all the havoc around us to keep us distracted from the heart that's within us. 
if they can keep us in mind on the surface of life, they've got us. We've become self-castrated. We've self-limited our power. We've gone out from the center of life, from the heart center we have. Now, they don't have this, or if they do, they've so lost it in anti antiquity that it's only a legend to them, nothing real. They've nothing to compare with heart power. Puppy, leave the cat alone! Will he ever get it? She doesn't want to play. Now, I'd like you to reconsider the story of Adam and Eve and the fall the fall into the knowledge of good and evil. Let's look at that again. Could that not have been the fall into 3D, my friends, into polarity and duality? Could that not have been the fall, not starting from materiality, but falling from spirit, from a less solid state into a more dense, a more solid seeming one? down into duality, into polarity, into 3D? Our legends don't tell us the straight-up truth, but it's often hidden in there. Once we begin to awaken, we see everything differently. The inner tuition opens up new vistas to our sight. Nothing remains the same. Nothing will be the same ever again. It's a big change. Welcome home. Enter in. Welcome back. This isn't new to you. You're just recollecting. Good day then. And just remember, it's all a matter of perspective. Which eye do you choose to see from? Which capital I ball is you? Enjoy! Don't forget to have fun.